Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is Helton's Computer Repair here with another quick tutorial. On this tutorial, we're going to be showing you how to remove those wonderful ads from uTorrent. Now, if you have not installed uTorrent, I'll probably give you a link for it and probably, probably pop up right here to let you know that you can download it from this following link and if you want to download it and install it. And if you have already installed this program, then we're going to be showing you how to remove these ads. So let's go ahead and get started. Now, before we get into started on installing this to not installing this to remove the ads, I'm going to give you a little info about it. In any case, if there's any settings that you don't understand or don't know how to access, then just leave it as is. Otherwise, you may run your own risk by breaking the uTorrent or not being able to download anything without ads. And it, it may also have an impact to your computer, depending what you do on there. So proceed with your own cautions for this. Now. We should be good on this. If it does come to a point that it does mess it up, you can just uninstall the program and reinstall it and you'll probably be good and it'll be running back how it was before. But let's go ahead and show you what you need to do to remove these wonderful ads that are being popped up right now. So first thing you do is pretty simple for this. You're gonna to to go to options. Then you're gonna to go to preferences. And don't go to stuff unless you don't know what you're doing. All you're going to do is go to the following settings I'm telling you, go to advanced right here. And once you get there, we're going to have to do some little search files for this. So underneath the filter, you can actually can search this manually, but it'll probably take forever for you to do this. So what we're going to do is go ahead and type in BT period and enable underscore. And what we're looking for is pulse. So it's already there, but in case. I'm going to go ahead and select it and there it is. We're going to change that value from true right here to false. And it's that pretty simple. And that's pretty much how we're going to be doing this to all the other ones. So there's going to be a few others that need to be done. So I'll be showing you how to do it to the others. Okay. Some of these may not even be there. They may already be disabled, but just follow how it's set and you should be good. Next one's going to be GUI period show underscore plus underscore I put actually type not underscore up cell now we already see it coming up again if you already see it you can print it just select it and we're going to choose false again and let's type in the next one next is going to be um, offers dot content underscore offer underscore auto and there it is auto exec and there it is we're going to select it and it's already set up to false so that's a good thing that means you didn't have to select from true to false so we're going to leave it as false and the next thing we're going to do is go to type in the next one called gui gui dot show underscore no torrents underscore node and here it is. We're going to change that value to false again for that one. And then we're going to go ahead and type in the next one. Offers dot sponsors underscore torrent underscore offer underscore enabled. Now they're already coming up. I'm just typing the full thing. That way if you need to look, you can select it and see the full words. And there it is. And then let's go ahead and type in the next one called offers period left underscore rail underscore offer underscore enabled. And here it is. We're going to change that value to false. And technically, I think I've already done this one before. And it was, again, the first we first started on. In case you didn't do it, here it is, bt.enable. I'll totally enabled right there. It's already there. BT enable underscore false. I totally misspelled that right there. U L S E. And there it is again. We already worked on that before, but in case you did not get to it, then you get the point. And we're going to go ahead and press OK. And it's still showing an ad. Let's go ahead and restart this program. Oh, disappeared right there. I'm going to go ahead and just exit anyway. Let's go ahead and go to the right and be sure it's not in use. So there it is, uTorrent. 
we're gonna go ahead and exit out again and I'll ask if you want to exit go ahead and press yes uh, we're gonna go ahead and open up uTorrent again and here we have it with no ads in this list and that is pretty much it now if you want to reverse this you can um, I would not recommend it it would just pretty much be good where you are and that's pretty much it thank you for watching from Helton's computer repair and I will see you on the next video thanks for watching guys if you just like this video then hit that button but if you like it and you want to see more hit that like button get subscribed comment and tell us what other tech videos you want to see consider checking out our merch store link in the video description and for the rest I will see you on the next video